Hey, what's going on guys? It is the Pleonasm Project here, or just Pleonasm, but basically I'm back after quite a while out. But yeah, this is the possible Manchester United team for FIFA 16. Obviously some of them are confirmed, some of them aren't. But I've put David Hayer in goal because Louis Van Al said Victor Valdez is going and he's only taken players that he wants in the squad or in the team next year in his pre-season squad. But obviously here's the first confirmed transfer. And it is Matteo Damian, who cost 14 mil, I think it was. I'm not really too sure on him. I don't really know much about him. Obviously, he's 24, Italy international, and he played quite well in the was it the World Cup or was it the Euro Euros? I think it was two years ago, last year even. Obviously, we have the centre back Otamendi. It was either him or Ramos, and I've put Ramos on the bench just because it's over them. Personally, I reckon Otamendi would be a better player to get because obviously I think he's younger than Ramos and he's just generally been better so I would prefer to have Otamendi because he'll be cheaper and he just looks like the better player to have and with him in centre back I went with Marcos Rojo who obviously joined last year from Sporting or was it no, it's Sporting or Porto one of them but obviously he's Argentinian so him and Otamendi will have a good link together, should be able to work well together. But if it's not Rojo, obviously we'll go with either Smallin or Jones, unless we manage to bring in another centre-back. But I doubt we'll end up bringing in another centre-back. So I've put Rojo. Obviously we've got Luke Shaw, we've been linked with a few left-backs this time, I think. I think we were linked with Rodriguez, the Wolfsburg. Is it Wolfsburg? I think it's Wolfsburg. But we've got Luke Shaw, obviously Daily Blink can play left back or Luke Shaw if we need him to. Not Luke Shaw, that is Luke Shaw. Ashley Young if we need him to. But yeah, Luke Shaw, I reckon he'll become a really good player this season. Then obviously the second confirm confirmed transfer, sorry about that, I just accidentally hit the mic. But we've got Morgan Snydlin. Obviously this might not be the starting eleven, but this is the team that I've went with with what I reckon will happen. But obviously we've got Snydlin in CDM there, holding it down in the centre or CDM role but I've went with a 4-3-3 formation for this team obviously we might not play a 4-3 might play a 4-1-2-1-2 or something obviously there's the third confirmed transfer Schweinsteiger obviously massive player hopefully he can bring that little edge to United what we need but if we don't well if he doesn't then obviously we'll sign or well, hopefully we'll sign a striker which I've got two on the bench which we've been linked with and apparently one of them is on top of the priority list for Van Gaal. As you can see, I went with Ander Herrera as the other centre mid. Obviously, they might play... Who else have we got? we got Fellaini. got Mata. But I've got Mata in a different position. Or Di Maria every stage. But I reckon Di Maria will go to PSG. So that's why I haven't got him in this team so far. Well, I haven't got him in the team at all. But yeah, Ander Herrera was a really good player last year and I reckon he'll come through and do good. Obviously, there is the other Spaniard. Well, yeah, another Spaniard in the team. Obviously, it's Mata. I've put him at right wing because well, I can just see him playing right wing. And then, obviously, the other two, well, the striker and the left wing, we'll get onto in a second. But I can just see Mata playing right wing after Di Maria leaving. Unless, obviously, as I've said, we sign another striker then I could see us changing our formation to having two up front. But... At the time being, I've put Mata right wing, and I've put the captain Wayne Rooney in striker. Obviously, no, well, everybody knows he's better up front than he's in centre mid or midfield. He proved it last season when he went up front. We started winning games, started scoring more. But I still think we should bring in a world class striker or a striker. We've been linked with Ben Teke today when I'm recording this video on the 16th. But I don't know if we'll go for him. I reckon we'll go for one of the other two that I've got on the as bench for this squad. But Rooney up front because he's captain. And obviously fourth and final confirmed transfer. We've got Memphis Depay. Obviously 20, was it 20 mil or 20 odd mil? I didn't mean to flick for them stats there. But there goes his stats. Obviously five star skills be good for FIFA. And he just generally looks really good in real life. He said he wants to be, be like Ronaldo. Which shows a lot of drive for the youngster. Which is a good thing obviously. But he'll be one to watch out for next season, I reckon. Obviously, here's one of the two strikers, and I've put Robert Lewandowski because, well, Van Gaal has said he's a priority. But, and, you think it's Sky Sports? Or well, it's on Sky Sports, but it was by 
Daily Telegraph or something yesterday about apparently they want at least 35 mil or higher for him. But I'd pay that for him. And obviously Edison Cavani, PSG, likely to be swapped for Di Maria if we do get him. But I would much rather Lewandowski personally, even though, well, Lewandowski obviously adds that bit of extra to class to the team. Obviously Cavani's a decent player, can play right wing or left wing as well, so that would add a bit of dimension to the team. But personally, I think we should go for Lewandowski there. Obviously we might go for Ben Teke, who I haven't got in this team. But there's the left mid or centre mid, Gaitan. Obviously, we've been linked with him on Sky Sports, I think it was yesterday, or it come up on Sky Sports yesterday, but about a swap deal for... I think it's Raphael. We offered Raphael and some money, or we offered just Raphael for Gaitan. But I don't really know much about him, but he looks like a decent card on FIFA, so hopefully he'll be decent in real life if we do get him. But if, obviously, there's the last one, second last player, because I've got a goalkeeper in case the hair does go, but I can't see him going. But yeah, we've got Sergio Ramos, obviously, it'll either be him or Otamendi, and we've offered a 45 million euros, I think it was yesterday, we offered for them, according to the AS. But yeah, if we get Ramos, then we won't be getting Otamendi. Obviously, with Victor Valdez going, I've put Jasper Sillison, because well, we were linked with him before, and I could just see him going to sign him as a backup for if De Gea does leave next year. But as you can see, there's the squad with the bench. Here's what it could look like if we sign certain players well if we they're the kind of players that we keep but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video if you want to see another kind of another team like this remember to comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching